Hey guys, Eamon Oscar today, and today, as you can see from the title of this video, I'm doing an unboxing video. Now, as you can guess on the title, you already know what I'm unboxing. So, let's get down to the unboxing then. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that packaging. Here it is from the back. I really love the gold on the Titanis. It's a really nice shimmery gold. The back of the box, which you've just seen, is just pictures of the Mega Swords and the combinations there. And a bit about the Titanis to itself. Description on one side, and a bit of stats, Titanis stats on the other. What looks like from the packaging inside the box, just to show you guys, that's what it looks like. So I'll take the big bit out first. And wow, the detail in this. This is just like amazingly detailed. And here is Titanus's head and wow look at the articulation in that neck. That is look at that articulation. Is incredible the articulation in that. Truly five stars band I yeah. yeah it just snaps on so I know that the Legacy Thunder Sword is coming. We're going to have that San Diego. Well, there was on the split San Diego Comic Con. So, if they get the Red Dragon Thunder Sword, like the neck, like this, so many people will be really happy with that. Well, what comes in the box are these little clips. Definitely, definitely keep hold of them because even though they have no purpose for Titanus, they will be for the original. That may be sort there. I don't know if you can see from this picture, but the original Mega Sword. Mega Sword. Yep, they click on the, yeah, they clip onto the legs of that, so it gives it that extra strength. So when you put it into the Outliers mode, it doesn't just fall over, which has been a problem in many of these figures. Also, it's this little thing which goes with the Dragon Sword and the original Mega Sword, creates a mode like that. Scissors to open this. This gold chain just gets into it. Like so. I presume.
so long to put that gotcha. in. Okay, so this is everything out of the box. This was in the combined mode of all the swords. This was used as the guns, these bits here. But as I don't have the dragon sword or the original dinosaur sword, I'll use this to create a tail. Or Titanus. There it goes. So it clicks together, pretty straightforward. And you just Insert like so. There we go, it's clicked in place. Oh, that's it, it's properly clicked in place. There we go, so it's now got a tail on the thing. Doesn't that look good? So just to finish up. This bit on the front. Front, it's getting kind of so really it's just the feet. Jesus, it's the right one. I really love that they've gone all out that all of this is actually painted on. Really so accurate. Tremendous stuff. the other one on so you guys can see but that is really cool yeah. I'll just show you how to roll it now let the feet This does just look absolutely fantastic. I can't recommend this enough, really. Wow. This is just truly incredible. I mean, it is expensive, but you definitely get your money's worth with this. This is a real collector's item. Bandai, I give you five stars. This Legacy Titanus, superb. I really love the Dragon Sword, but I suppose this just tops it. The detail in this, the movement. And of course, when you can do that mode, this just lifts up. Got the swords in there, so. Bandai, five stars. Can't wait for the Legacy Thunder Sword. Can't wait for personally to I personally get the white tiger sword. I'll be getting that at some point. Can't wait. This is making me even more excited for it. So there you guys, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Titanus is logging in. This is Ignatius.